What's going on everybody to JRPG enthusiasts shadow elite coming at you guys with another video of JRPG news I have it's been a while. It's been a while since I've done JRPG news But we got some stuff and let's see what we have for this segment here We have a kind of a release date quote-unquote for Kingdom Hearts 3 Bill Farmer who voices Goofy was responding to some Twitter fan questions and he said we have been recording on it for the last few years Kingdom Hearts 3 it's supposed to come out later this year now of course this um, tweet that Bill Farmer released was um, was uh, debunked by um, Square Enix themselves they said that the release date for Kingdom Hearts 3 is still remains unannounced Guys, uh, I, it's not coming out this year. Okay, that, that's just for real. It's not coming out this year. There is no way, man. I'm telling you, there's no way that it's coming out this year. Okay, if anything, 2015 would be the year for Final Fantasy 15 for Square Enix calendar. That's about it. I mean, we have not seen anything on Kingdom Hearts 3 at all so, except for you know a trailer uh, a trailer for what last year's um e3 or tokyo game show whatever it was but that that was about it bill farmer he's an old guy so you know he probably doesn't even know what square Enix is doing outside of what kingdom hearts or whatever he doesn't follow but probably doesn't follow the company that much he just know he voices goofy he voices goofy for kingdom hearts 3 and that's pretty much it like what else does he need to know honestly and like, does he really know the, um, you know, the trolling crap that um, Square Enix has done in the past years or the rehashing, remakings, and all that crap that Square Enix has done? No, I don't think so. So, um, but there could be some truth to this. He's an old guy, so he could he could have probably just let it slip that it that they've been done for a while now, and they're just waiting for the green light to go ahead and release it. But I still don't think Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out at all this year. Um... Because for a game to come out, you need way more trailers than Kingdom Hearts has ever um, released. You need some, you know, gameplay trailers. You need, uh, you know, screenshots, official artwork and whatnot. That's all that stuff that has to be released first. And then you can speculate a release date. Until then, it ain't coming out this year. There's just no way, okay? The way I always viewed it, the way that I always looked at it was um, um, Final Fantasy XV. For 2016, early 2016, and Kingdom Hearts 3, um, early 2017. I'm sorry, that's just the way I, I feel about it. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 15 can be releasing in 2016, but that's the earliest I'm going on. That is the absolute earliest I'm going on. There is just no way that Kingdom Hearts 3, right on, on, on topic, that Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out this week. Yeah, you know what? If it does, awesome. That's great, but... <laughs> If I was a betting man, I was betting, you know, everything, my laptop, my PS4, my Xbox One, um, you know, all, all my good stuff, I would not bet on Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out this year. Would I want it to come out this year? Of course I would like to. You know, awesome. Another JRPG releasing this year. Awesome. Mainstream JRPG. We can finally move on from Kingdom Hearts 3. But, uh, yeah, not releasing this year. No, no. I don't know why some people honestly think it is. <laughs> sites like IGN are like saying it's their most anticipated game of 2015. I'm like, are, are you serious? Like, really? Really? Do you not follow this company at all? And see the crap they do sometimes? Anyway, let's keep going. Next piece of news, we have Hyper Devotion No War is going to be released on February 24th. It's a spinoff for the Hyper Dimension Neptune franchise, and I really love Noir, so I can't wait for this one to come out and to play it on the Vita. It's going to be a strategy RPG, RPG and um, from the looks of it, it's going to have a lot of characters, a lot of par parodies from um, you know um, different games. Like I believe there's a, a character that um, parodizes um, Snake. From Metal Gear, which is looks to be really entertaining. So, hopefully, when this game comes out, it will be a good strategy RPG and it will keep me entertained for a while. Next up, we have Devil Survivor Record Breaker. We'll have Dura -ra 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 characters. I don't even know if I said that right, but yeah, it's gonna have some Dura -ra 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 characters in the um, game, which is pretty awesome because I'm a huge fan of the anime and um, I can't wait for the, actually the second season to air, which is gonna be airing soon. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Because it's from the same um, artist that does the Dura and 
Devil Survivor is the same artist, same guy. So I guess they deem it necessary to put the um, characters in it. You got Suzu, Suzu um, e Izaya, and Selty. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce their names. But that is pretty friggin' awesome. Hopefully they're good end game units. Um, monsters I can use or summons or whatever it, it can easily be used. I hope it's not paid DLC, which I can see happening. Maybe they'll be released for free. Who knows? Anyway, I just I found it pretty awesome that um uh, these characters are all going to be here in Devil Survivor Record Breaker, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they will be released over in the U.S. or North America, you know, um, Europe when it comes overseas. Well, guys, that's all of the news I have for this segment. I hope to see you guys later. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and more importantly, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 release date actually is. Let me know your opinion on the manual. Do you honestly think it's going to come out later this year in 2015? <laughs> yeah, right. Do you think it's going to come out in 2016, 2017? Who knows? Anyway, for me, I honestly think it's 2016. I'll, I'm going to say 2016. I'm going to give Square Enix the benefit of the doubt. But, guys, that's all there is for now. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.